So we discussed the 12 pure vowels. Now coming to the remaining 8 sounds, diphthongs. Diphthongs are otherwise called vowel glides. So the pure vowels are monophthongs. Mono we means one or single. Diphthong, here we have two sounds. We are already familiar with the affricate sound ch and the sound j. Here, these affricates are represented by digraphs or two sounds, one that of a plosive and the second that of a fricative, ch and j. Similarly, in diphthongs also we have two sounds, these two are vowel sounds. In the case of pure vowel, the tongue assumes a particular position in the mouth, okay, the front open position, the front closed position, between half open and half closed position. So here in diphthongs, the tongue starts in the position of one particular vowel and it glides or moves to the position of another vowel. Okay. So there are eight diphthongs in English. First one, this A sound, this E, we pronounce it as A. Oi. I. A. Oi. I. Ow. Ow. Oh. Ear. Air. Ua. So, a, oi. I, ow, o, ear, air, ua. Based on the movement of the tongue, we can classify the diphthongs into two, closing diphthongs and centering diphthongs. Coming to closing diphthongs, we have five closing diphthong sounds in English. So in these five sounds, the tongue is gliding or moving to the position of a close vowel. Okay. So in this A, I and OI, the tongue is moving or gliding to the front close vowel E and in AU and O, the tongue glides to the position of a back vowel sound U. So these three sounds can be called as fronting diphthongs, fronting as the tongue is moving in the position of a front close vowel and here this category can be called retracting diphthong, okay, retracting as the tongue is moving in the position of a back vowel, okay. So this, uh, these sounds are called closing diphthongs A, I, oi, ow and o. Okay, as the tongue is moving from the uh, open or half open position to the closed position, we call these sounds closing diphthongs. In these three sounds, the tongue is moving in the position of a front closed vowel, so we call them fronting diphthong. In these two sounds, the tongue moves in the position of a uh, back closed vowel, so we call them retracting diphthongs. In the case of centering diphthong, the tongue moves in the position of the central vowel a. Uh. We have three centering diphthongs ear, air, and ua. Uh. Okay. So the tongue is gliding in the position of the central vowel a. Uh. It's ear, air, and ua. Uh. The a sound as aid, ace age aim 
baby same tame race obey pray late wait the i sound as bike hike ice idle light fight bright mile cry supply mine sign oil sound as oil noise voice join moist avoid loiter loin joy boy alloy toy owl sound as owl out house doubt cow loud now found bound now down shout o sound as open old total notion motto piano no go home ocean low note ear sound as ear fierce hear peer appear steer beer cheer hear sheer clear severe air sound as air wear swear wear spare chair hair rare wear scare affair stare over as tour fear cure mature pure sure poor cruel